Good morning everybody, my name is Mr H and welcome to the home of PE. Today we're going to do our very first online physical education lesson. The lesson will compose of nearly five different areas. Our first one will be the crazy five movements um, and the workout which will hopefully get our heart rate pumping. Our number two is we'll do a stretch focus where we'll focus on two particular stretches. Number three, we're gonna do something called move for fun. So I'm actually going to give you guys four different activities today to work at home with your brothers, sisters, parents, or even just yourself. Um, following that, we are going to move into something called the Blitz Challenge. So I'm going to challenge you for one minute and wanna see what type of score that you can achieve. Once we've finished off our challenge, we're going to do a yummy, healthy food uh, um, segment. And I'm going to see if you guys can guess the item of food I have today, and hopefully I can describe a couple of good things about that piece of food. And then we'll finish our show. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let's get started with the crazy five. Our crazy five today has been described on the board behind me. If we have a look, we're gonna begin with something called the hop one, two. After the hop one, two, we're gonna get into something called the rock the boat. Number three will be the flamingo stand. Number four will be the try balance And number five will be something called holding hop. We are going to be doing each activity or movement for 40 seconds with a 20 second break. So guys, let's get straight into it. Pop the timer on. Start timer. Press start. Okay guys, getting ready. We're going to do a hop one, two. So watch you Mr. H. A hop. And you're going to hold it for two seconds. One, two, hop, one, two, hop, one, two. We are going to be working on balance today. All types of balances, static um, and dynamic. So hop, one, two, hop, one, two, hop, one, two. Really hold it. Hop, one, two. Oh, Mr. H, get back on there. We are halfway there. Hop, one, two. Hop, one, two. If you're really good at balancing, put your hands on your hips. Hop, one, two. Hop, one, two. Hop, one, two. Hop, one, two. Nearly there, guys. One, two. Oh, there we go. Gonna have to pop that back on. Make sure you're resting, guys. The wind is out today. So 14 second rest. Get that back on, Mr. H. We're going to do the rock the boat. Okay, watch Mr. H, hands on your hips. You're going to place one foot up and kick outwards like this, as much as you can. Let's go. Okay, start off with your left foot or your right foot. You're balancing on one leg and you're kicking out. You are rocking the boat. The movement is coming from your knee. You have to try balance. Try the other side. Keep rocking that boat, guys. Whew. The seas are rough today. Let's go, rock the boat. Halfway there, guys. Let's try the other side. Just keep it going. If you're really good, try to go as fast as you can. Fast as you can. Other foot. Other foot. Oh, Mr. H. Off balance again. Let's go. As many as you can. Come on, we're nearly there. Rest. And rest. Okay, guys. Our next one is the flamingo stand. Okay, flamingo stand's quite tough. You're gonna put your hands on your hips. You're gonna raise your foot. And you're going to very gently place it back down. So you're going to continue to do this without your foot touching the floor. I'll show you the side view. Raise one foot. As many as you can. Start off slow and then get faster. I'll show you the other side. Right foot. As fast as you can. Let's see how many you can get. This is the flamingo. Halfway there guys, 20 seconds, come on. All the way. Oh, hopefully we've got 10 seconds to go. Keep it up. Come on, flamingo dance. Flamingo dance. All right, nearly there. Rest. All right, rest guys, 20 seconds. Number four, we're going to do the tri balance. Watch Mr. Harani. You gotta balance um, on two feet and you're gonna raise one hand, uh, sorry, one foot. You're going to place one foot out, back in, side, back in, back, what right back in. We're gonna to have to pop that back up. You guys keep going with the tri balance. Pop 
pop that back up there. Hopefully you can see that. Let's keep doing with the tri balance. Off we go. Forward, side, out, down. Forward, side, out. Forward, side, out. Ooh, that's tough. Forward, side, out. Keep going guys, 10 seconds, you got this. Fantastic. Forward, side, out. Okay, yes guys. Now we're going to do that last one called the holding hop. So you're going to stand, you're going to raise one foot up. You're going to grab your other hand here, hold your foot like this, and you're going to balance for as long as possible. If you're really good, hop at the same time. Okay, try to hold that. Ooh, try your other foot. And I'm going to try it a little bit harder. Try to hop at the same time. Your fours, fives, sixes should be able to do this. Threes, you can challenge yourself. Twos, you can challenge yourself. Kindies, pre primaries ones, you might just want to do this. Hold it for as long as you can without hopping. Very good. People with good balance won't be moving much. Very good. Hop if you're really, really good. We're nearly there. Guys, that completes our crazy five. We've done one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, fantastic, it's, it's closed now. We are gonna move on to our new segment, and the next segment is, is gonna be called the stretch focus. Now, today's stretches are based around muscles that help us balance. So we're going to be looking at the calf muscle, just here, and on the other side just here. Our first, our first stretch is called the standing calf stretch. So we're going to, I'll show you the side view, one foot forward, one foot back, hands either on your hips or on your knee area of the other foot and lean forward. So let's try that with this foot here. Lean forward. Oh, Mr. Harani is trying his best. Now did you know you've got to hold uh, stretches for at least eight to ten seconds. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do the other side. For this time, let's count really loud so the neighbours can hear us. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Fantastic. Our second. Wow, the wind is out today, that's for sure. Pop that back on there. Okay. Our second stretch is going to be called the hip stretch. Now, this one's going to be slightly different. Instead of standing up and moving forward, we're actually going to bring our knee towards the ground. So one knee is on the ground, other knee is up. And what you're going to do is you're going to move your hips and your body forward like this. You'll feel the stretch in your quadricep here. You'll feel your stretch in your hips. And hopefully you'll feel the stretch in your calf muscle right here. Count with me guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, rotate to the other side. Let's go guys, you count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, okay, remember, you can hold your stretches for between eight and 10 seconds. We're now going to move on with our next segment. It is called Move For Fun. And I'm gonna be describing some activities around the house for you to do to work on your balance. Because remember, our goal today, our focus today, is to work on balance. There's two types of balancing. The first one is static balance. Static balance is when you can hold a balance when you're standing still. So this would be a static balance. This would be a static balance like that. A dynamic balance is when your body is actually moving and you're still able to maintain some level of control of your body. Okay, so you're not falling over from side to side or forward to back. So 
someone with, I guess, a good dynamic balance would be someone who could hop from one side and then hop all the way back without having to fall over. So that's someone who's got great, I guess, dynamic balance. So let's get on to our first move for fun activity. We've, it's actually called jump the stream. So jump the stream or jump the river or something, something along that lines. You're going to need a piece of um, equipment or something around the house of which you can jump over. Now watch Mr. H. I'm, you can choose some string, a ruler, you can choose, um, let's say, a broom mop. For today, I'm going to use just two sticks that I found outside. So two sticks, you're going to place one down. I'll just move this mat backwards. One down, and then the other one in front of it, but about a foot or, let's say, one half a metre to a metre away, depending on your level. You're going to stand on one side of the river or the stream and you're going to start off with two feet so we're going to do a two-footed jump over the river and hopefully maintain our balance watch Mr H that's one two so if you want to do this try to do it as many times as you can let's just go for ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now you can adjust the difficulty. So if you're a year six, a year five, or year four, you can adjust the distance. So make it further apart if you want to make it harder. If you're a younger student in kindy, pre primary, year one, year two, or even year three, you can place the sticks or the lines closer together to make sure the strength or the river is, it has a smaller distance of which you have to jump. Now, we can change that activity and instead of using two feet to land and two feet to jump, let's step it up a bit, make it harder. Because I think you guys are really good at this. So you're going to do one footed jumps over the stream, like this. One, you can turn around, two, very good. Now you can swap feet, I was doing it on my right foot, Let's try the left foot. Fantastic. Maybe you can challenge a brother or sister, or even your mum or dad, or anyone else who lives with you at home. You can challenge them, first person to 10. All right guys, that completes our very first activity for Move for Fun. The next thing we're going to look at is called Become a Flamingo. Now we did something very similar in the Crazy Five today. Let's have a look at this. Become a flamingo. You basically want to be standing still. You're going to raise one of your feet. So choose left or right. Place your foot up. If you're really, really good at this, place it as high as you can. Like this, but keep your knee bent. Like this. If you're really good, raise it as high as you can. Try to hold that for as long as you can. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, 10 seconds, five seconds. If you're a younger student, you might want to try, instead of raising it so high, you might just do a little raise, like this. Oh, that's even quite hard. Let's try this way. You might just balance like this. But if you really want to challenge yourself, bring your knee, bring your foot as high as you can. So guys, that's our flamingo stand, activity number two. Number three, I'm having a look at the list, because let's see, I've placed it down for you guys today. Number three is called the musical statues. Don't we all love musical statues? So in this scenario, you can play some music around the house. You might have a radio, you might, have, uh, you might play it through your computer, you might play it through your parents' phones. It's really up to your parents to, to help you with this. So find something with music, okay? Now, you might be by yourself and that's fine. You can play this game by yourself or you can play with multiple people in your house. So when the music is on, you just want to start dancing, all right? Dancing, going crazy, moving around. And when the music stops, you have to freeze and you have to balance on one of your feet. Now, your parents could move around and see the first person who stops their balance. 
Now, if you're really good at this game, you're gonna maintain your balance and you're gonna survive right until the music starts playing again and then you're back into your groove. You're back into dancing, you might do a couple of dabs, I'm not sure, you might use some of your moves from TikTok, okay? So that is our musical statues using a static balance with one foot. Um, our last one, it's actually pretty fun this one. It's called, I've got a bit of sweat from today's crazy five. It's called Marco Polo. So you might wanna have somebody to play with within the house, one person. And we'll start off with, let's just say, we'll start off with beginners. So you might be kindy, pre-primary, year one, year two. And you're going to call out with your eyes open, Marco, and then your family member will call out Polo. And wherever you can see them, you need to try to hop towards that person without falling. Okay? So that's the very easy level. If you want to step it up and you're in the higher year groups, then you can do this. You call out Marco, okay, so actually no. You have your eyes closed first, like this. You call out Marco, and then your parent, or sibling, so brother or sister, will call out Polo, and you have to have your eyes closed. And you can either, if you're, you're on the easy level, you're gonna to walk towards that person and try to find them, or you're going to hop towards that person if you're a really high level, and try to find them. Now this game could be a little bit dangerous, so I would just play this in one room in your house, make sure there's nothing that you can trip on, so no toys on the floor, it's gotta be a clear area, and I'd have adult supervision during this, just in case you do fall over trying to find Polo. So guys, that's Marco Polo, and you can use static balances during that game. Actually, you're probably gonna be used dynamic because you're moving uh, while balancing. So guys, that completes our move for fun activities. Whew. Now we're gonna do a challenge. Our next segment is our one minute blitz challenge. I'm going to place our timer tool up and we're going to put one minute, so we'll just go out of this, we're going to put one minute on the clock. So time cap, oh, where is it? Five minutes, that's not right, Mr. H. Let's go back, go back. Let's go to this first one, one minute. Now in one minute, I wanna see how many hops you can do on one foot without falling over. So, let's see if you can beat Mr. Harani today. I'm going to place this up, start timer, play. 10 seconds guys, let's see if you can beat Mr. H. Choose your foot, right foot, left foot, how many hops can you do in 60 seconds? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can hop on the spot for a static, or you can be dynamic and you can move. Hop, hop, hop. Remember to keep counting. Count, count, count. Oh, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. How long do we have? 30 seconds. Okay, if you get tired of one foot, rotate to your other foot. 43, 44, 45. Keep going, guys. Mr. Harani's sweating. That means we're actually working our bodies really tough. Come on. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, Ooh, 69, 70, 71. Come on, nearly there, Mr. H. Let's see how long, three seconds. Done. Okay, so Mr. Harani's score, let me double check, it was 75. So, if you got close to 75, great job. It really doesn't matter what score you got because you tried your best, and that's the main thing, guys. Always trying your best. Win, lose, or draw, you're happy. That completes our Blitz Challenge. Now, onto our, one of my favorite segments, called Yummy Healthy Food. Now, I wanna see if you can guess our piece of yummy healthy food today. They actually say that you should have two fruit and five vegetables a day to remain healthy. 
Today, behind this iPad, we've got a piece of fruit. That's clue number one. Uh, it's actually, it could be purple, it could be a bit of pink, a little bit of red, depending on what season it is. One more clue, uh, maybe two more clues. It's round or oval shaped. It's got a seed, quite a big seed in the middle. And let's see if I can give you one more. Uh, it starts with the letter P. The letter P. If you know what it is, scream it out loud. I can hear some of my year threes, that's for sure. That's right, guys. It is a plum. One of my favorites. So if your parents go to the shops to top up your fridges while you're at home, ask them for a plum. Now, before I take a bite of this delicious piece of fruit, let me tell you a few things about it. I typed it in Google and I said, what is great about plums? I'm gonna read this to you. It contains three particular vitamins, A, C, and K. So vitamin A, C, and K. Now guys, these vitamins and this plum is really full, it's full of antioxidants, something called anti sorry, antioxidants. Now, it is a big word, but basically, basically means it helps you uh, um, remain healthy, and it helps you by remaining healthy by keeping your cells within your body, all the little pieces within your body, nice and strong. Okay, so it keeps those little pieces in your body nice and strong. Now, it prevents against damage of those cells and those little pieces. So think about this, whenever you eat a plum, you're protecting your body. Now, this isn't just a fact, they actually taste really delicious. So whenever you get a chance to grab a plum, make sure you have a bite and finish the whole thing off. That is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna save this for a bit later until after the PE lesson. Mmm, yummo. Girls and boys, that is our very first lesson for physical education using the home of PE featuring Mr. H on YouTube. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to always get notifications on when the shows are placed out. Don't forget to hit the like button, that'd be awesome. Gives Mr. Harani feedback and it shows Mr. H you guys are actually enjoying the episodes. If you do have an account and you're able to comment in the section below, that'd be fantastic. I will try to reply to all the replies. And guys, just have fun with it. Um, don't forget, you, this is a video. You can always go back and pause the video uh, to either get some equipment that you need or um, pause and, and go do something quickly and uh, go grab a drink and then you can hit play again. So guys, we will catch you next time on the home, P, uh, on the home of PE. We are going to finish with a salute. So place your hands up here and let's salute each other. Salute. Catch you next time, guys.